So I take the first, the thread that's coming out of that first step, and I take it to my fingers and I'm rocking it perpendicular to the rib, back and forth and back and forth. And you'll notice as it tightens, the knot actually goes down underneath the fabric. Take the second thread and start pulling it over to the west and it tightens down and the knot actually just goes right into the fabric on its own. That is, that is essentially the stitch. And we're just gonna go get to the third, gotta go get to the third stitch, so we're gonna go underneath the fabric and back up through the hole over here. Take all the slack out, go down the east side, have the rib out the east side at the bottom, up the west side, and out the west side. Remember, just leave that needle sitting there with the thread and the needle there on the west side. Separate those two things with the east side thread that's laying there and the loop goes to the south. Step one. And bring that down, but don't tighten it all the way. Now we're going to make sure that that loop is going to the east, that excess thread. And we're going to go underneath and back out above the loop thread. So it's an under over. And bring that, get most of the slack out of there. Go back to step one, grab the thread, rock back and forth perpendicular. If you rock parallel, you could tear the fabric, it's possible. So perpendicular to the rib, you're never going to tear any fabric until the knot walks its way down under the fabric. Grab the second step, pull, and the knot goes inside on its own. Done with that stitch, so you're gonna go underneath down to the next stitch. I know this is repetitious, but we've only got a couple more done to do before we finish this particular rib. And I think I just moved the surface there. We're gonna go down the east side, up the west side, Leave the needle, separate the needle and the thread on the west side with the east side piece. Make sure the loop goes to the south. Step one, take out most of the slack. Step two, bring the loop around the east side, go underneath the knot and above the loop thread. Take out most of the slack, grab the first step, rock back and forth, take the second step, Pull. You can pull and rock, but the knot generally just pops down in on its own. Go from the fourth stitch to the fifth stitch, or whatever it is, down to the next one. Two more and we're done with this rib. Down the east side, up the west side. Separate the two on the west side with the loop going to the south. Take out the slack. Again, it matches the picture. Double check, <clears throat> double check that every once in a while. Second step, make the loop go to the east. Go underneath the thread and over that loop piece and tighten it down by rocking it back and forth. When you're, when you're tightening the stitch with two motions, it's not nearly as hard on your hands as trying to pull all of that not tight with one step. Okay, we're going down to the last stitch here. The last stitch is exactly the same with one added step at the end. Down the east side, up the west side. Separate the thread and the needle. Make the loop south. Take out the slack. Leave your loop. Make your Excess thread loop go to the east, underneath the stitch, and over the loop. Now, do not tighten down at this point. What I generally do is I put the first step thread between my fingers and the second one, and I'm going to go from the south. I'm going to come from the south, and this may be kind of hard to see on the camera, but underneath that first step loop, of course, there's two threads coming out put this needle between those two threads and just bring it up and leave it hang loose. Now go back to tightening. Step one, rock. Step two, 
rock. Now you end up with a loop and a tail. You've got the loop down here, take the tail to the south, through the loop, and tighten it. And that is a half hitch at the end of that stitch. I'm going to take. Okay. The last thing we have to do is get rid of this tail. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go beside the knot and go back down through that west side hole and out the bottom of the west side. Pull all the slack through and then pull that knot, if it hasn't gone in, pull that knot through. Did you hear it just pop through the fabric? You can take your needle off and as all you have to do on the bottom side, and I'm going to tip the surface up so you can see what I'm doing here, is you just have to take these and clip them off flush. And you're done. That is, you would do that on any surface, the wing, whatever surface you choose. Thank you very much. Oh, my husband just reminded me one more thing. He likes it when I take, I'm using flat cord, which is much easier to use than round cord. And he likes it when I take the back of the needle, just the round part, and I run it across each of the stitches. And you can see, you can actively see the thread flattening out even more than it already is just by rubbing that back of that needle across those stitches. It makes for a very, very smooth finish. And that's it.